Good afternoon, respected moderator, judges, and all present here. I am Chantangi Hankal from Tangam Presbyterian. First of all, let us begin by what a tribe is. A tribe is a group of people connected in meaningful ways. ethnicity, lifestyle, ideology, etc. According to Wikipedia, tribalism is a state of being organized by or advocating for tribe or tribal lifestyle. Tribalism can also discriminatory behavior or attitude toward our group based on in-group's loyalty. It is a sturdy feeling of loyalty to a group, ideology or tribe. Them. Vaccinated versus unvaccinated, Protestant versus Catholic, or it is we are good versus they are bad, etc. Tribalism is a natural human condition, and being loyal to our tribe is hardwired into our being. The virtue of tribalism humans are equipped to live on their own. We depend on one another for safety and survival. Tribalism create loyalty, offer protection for the contributor of tribe, and foster a feeling of network and belonging and group solidarity. We turn to our tribe when we feel threatened. Tribalism and social bonding help to keep individuals committed to the group. The danger of tribalism. However, like any other regimes, tribalism could be very dangerous. It could blind our region. The danger lies not in tribalism itself, but are rather driven by polarization. Polarization is a measure of the magnitude of differences between groups. The differences may be physical trait, psychological trait, social trait, attitude, and behavior. And polarization measures how strong the differences between are. For example, two groups may be more similar than they think. But if they perceive each other as different, that could result in attitude and behavior characteristic of tribalism. Increasing polarization increases disagreement and intolerances, such that living peacefully seems impossible. In group solidarity, tends to go up when our group is perceived in a negative light as a dangerous other, as a threat to the unity and stability of our group that threat could eventually lead to the worst behavior leading to prejudice, violence, atrocity, and genocide. The question now is, how do we reconcile this tribalism and Christianity? In the Bible, we found that God called out people and made a tribe of his own. Deuteronomy 7, 6 says, For you are a people, holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you out of all the people on the face of the earth to be his people, his treasure possession. God created the tribe for his people so they could flourish together as holy and beloved children of God. Jesus himself called us out to be separated from the world, to be his sheep and separated from the womb. Then make us question, isn't Jesus tribalist? Doesn't he practice tribalism? Victor Frankl said, there are two races of men in the world, the race of the Dishan and the race of the Indishan. Or if we like, in the light of gospel, we can say, sinner and Christ himself. The reconciliation could be found only in the person and the work of Christ Jesus, putting the enmity between God and man on the cross. In Ephesians 2, 13 to 16, Paul wrote, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. He himself is our peace, who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulation. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. To be a tribe of Christ is to be like Christ. 
that is to preach to the far and near, to care for the sick, to love your neighbor as yourself, to pray for your enemies. This is what Christ did for us on the cross, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for the ungodly, Christ died for you and me. So as a Christian, a sinner saved by grace, we are called to be a tribe of Christ, a living sacrifice, a spotless bride of Jesus Christ, and to be less tribal every day, and to be more Christ-like every day. May God's sovereign blessing in us. Thank you.